Whoa, it has been a crazy week. We met Will Smith at the Grand Canyon this week. Yeah, that was pretty crazy. But that's not even what we're talking about. Yeah, so if you wanna know more about that, we were there with our friends Yes Theory. If you don't know their channel, check it out. You'll love it, it's, it's awesome. But anyway, there was more news this week that we wanna talk about on this episode of The Weekly Watch. On Tuesday, there was a massive announcement that there's going to be a new professional lacrosse league known as the Premier Lacrosse League, the PLL. It was first announced by Scott Shosnick from Bloomberg. The article was like number three on their trending page. Everyone in the sport was talking about this. This is some of the biggest news we've seen in the sport in years. So we're gonna break down what's in this article, tell you as much as we know right now, and then just talk about what this means for the broader scope of the sport. All right, before we break down what's in this article, one thing you gotta understand is that pro lacrosse is still really young. It hasn't been around for that long. So we wanted to do a quick history on pro lacrosse. In 1986, the Eagle Pro Box Lacrosse League was started with four teams. The Philadelphia Wings, the Washington Wave, the Baltimore Thunder, and of course, the New Jersey Saints. Also, as we go through this history, one thing that's really crazy, the Philly Wings have been around since 1986. The oldest professional lacrosse team. Whoa. That's awesome. Also, Cloutier and Baptiste just signed to the Wings. Yeah, the NLL draft was this week too. Okay, where were we? In 1988, the Eagle Pro Box Lacrosse League changed their name to the Major Indoor Lacrosse League, the MILL. It's hard hitting and non-stop scoring from start to finish. In 1998, the MILL was turned into the NLL. Well, the Philadelphia Wings win the first National Lacrosse League Championship, 17 to 12. And then in 1999, Major League Lacrosse was formed. They had their inaugural season in 2001. It's sudden death, the semifinals. Winner goes on to the Major League Lacrosse Championship. Yeah! In 2009, the LXM Pro Tour was founded, and in 2012, TLN started covering the LXM Pro Tour. Actually, the first pro league to give us an opportunity to come out, film, and create content with them. It was amazing. My first day of work at the Lacrosse Network was at an LXM Pro event. A lot of good memories with the LXM Pro Tour. Brings back a lot of memories. There's a lot of videos on TLN you can watch from that. Ooh, that went through the net, Chris. <laughs> That's Kyle Harrison with number five. In 2014, the LXM Pro Tour merged with Major League Lacrosse, and now that brings us up to today, 2018, and this announcement that we have another professional lacrosse league. All right, so now let's tell you what's in the article and what you can expect with the PLL. All right, so first and foremost, who's involved in this league? I think we should sit down. Yep, let's sit down. Wrong side, man, I sit on the other side. Are you sure? Yes, I'm positive, you always mess this We've up. Been We've been doing this for four years and exactly. I don't really know. That's why I know which side it is. I feel like I don't know what side we're on. Okay. All right, so first and foremost, who's behind this league? Okay, it says here in the article, lacrosse star Paul Rabel, I've heard of that guy. Lacrosse star Paul Rabel is starting a new outdoor league with a group of sports and media investors led by the Rain Group. What you need to know here is that an investment firm called Rain, who's done a lot of really cool stuff in sports and media, is working with Paul Rabel to launch this league. And for us, we think that's really cool to have new people involved in lacrosse. It just brings a fresh perspective to a space that has a lot of room for innovation. The PLL is going to be a tour-based professional lacrosse league. So teams will travel to cities across the US and play games on Saturday and Sunday. There'll be six teams, they'll play a regular season, have an all-star game, as well as playoffs. Now, I saw a lot of comments on the post that TLN put out on Instagram the day this was announced. A lot of people were wondering how this is different from the LXM Pro Tour. So, a couple things that are different. The LXM Pro Tour had two teams, PLL has six teams, LXM played primarily exhibition games at events. The PLL is actually playing a season as well as playoffs, so that's really different. And one of the most interesting things about this whole tour-based model is that it's almost gonna be like the final four moving from city to city to city, because it's kind of a festival of games that happen across multiple days of a weekend, but it's a big event in a city. Every year there's one D1 lacrosse game that comes to Southern California and everyone goes. So it's a really cool opportunity to create a big event out of a lacrosse weekend. The exciting thing with a tour-based model is that if the tour comes to your town or your city and you go, you get to see all of the pros. There also will be no overlap in terms of when they play. So right now it says they will play from June to September. So that way players can play in the NLL as well as finish their college seasons before going into the pro league. 
The article also says that players will be compensated full-time salaries and also have access to health benefits, as well as have an opportunity at equity in the league, which means percentage ownership in the league. Now this makes all the players very invested in the league itself, which is a really cool way to make the players have ownership over the product. That was one of the most unique things that when I read the article that stuck out to me, apart from any other league, was that element right there. So this new league announcement is really exciting news. One thing we love about lacrosse is how much the sport innovates. And also, it's really cool to have a community that can react and have a conversation about the way that the sport is moving. All of us are a part of this conversation. All of us can help shape how lacrosse looks in the future. So we wanna hear from you guys. Comment below, what do you think about PLL? Is it basically me suiting up and playing? Probably, most likely, that's what you're gonna say. Yeah, I mean, if you guys want us to put together highlights I mean, and send look, them, PLL, let us know. We will happily submit some highlights. I saw that Greg is gonna try and play. PLL, I'm putting my name in the draft. Yep, Greg is gonna try and play. But yeah, you know what, Greg, uh, Greg can shoot kind of fast. Special effects, man. Yeah, that was special. That's movie magic. That's movie magic. Is Chris Hogan gonna play? Chris Hogan, Penn State lacrosse. Hoagie? Hogs? <laughs> you call him Hoagie? What? <laughs> you can't call him Hoagie. I, I don't know Chris Hogan, but you know, but you know who Chris yeah, Hogan I, is. I, no, I know who Chris. Hogan, I'm saying I can't. I don't know him well enough to call him Hoagie, but that would be really cool if he suited up for a game. So comment below and let us know what you think about this announcement, about the news that we heard this week, about this brand new league. Also, this is the last episode of the Weekly Watch. We are taking a break from the show for the first time in four years. Whoa, it's been four years? It's been four years. So thank you everyone who has tuned in every week to this show. It's been an unbelievable experience to do this show and to bring you guys along with us. We can't make this show without you. The clips that you've sent us over the years have made this show what it is. Thank you so much. And we want to continue getting your input. Comment below, what types of shows do you want to see in the sport that you're not seeing right now? And shout out to everyone who submitted clips for this finale. We are gonna end with a montage from the clips that you guys sent us. Again, it's you that's gonna shape the sport in the future, and it's all of you that has allowed us to create this network, this show, and all the videos we've made over the past six years. To that, let's play this montage. Peace. Look, another big save by Hillsman. It's oh, baby! Yes, sir! Greedy. Back to Rahoy. Looks for the win and puts it in! And Lindbergh is taking the lead.